Welcome to the machine learning at home. Today will be the great machine learning experiment. So far we learned on some known species or class labels. So for example in our iris data we use predefined species. Now I will try to lead you into the way how to automatically obtain these species, learn on them and obtain results of this learning. So we will start with the key means method, but if you remember, key means wants to know how many clusters, how many groups do we need. So there, is a w there are ways to avoid it, and we will f learn how to determine the number of future group out of data itself, without even know anything about species number. So let us start from the setting the random number generator for example to 10 this is because uh, our processing today will include plenty of stochastic methods and I want you to have results similar to mine this is only explanation so we need several libraries first library will be key picks key picks so if you don't have this library installed please install it first and then run the command library key picks. To install library again, you should run the command install dot packages, not plural, in quotes key picks. So suppose you did it, and now you run library key picks. And then we need to find the number of clusters from the data itself. So we'll use the same RS data for convenience, and we'll create object name CC function will be find key find key and we'll use it for the data without species variable of course okay so cc contains multiple different estimations i like to run the maximal possible number of clusters which is stored in the, the mq 3m component so you see that method actually estimated the number of clusters as three which is correct as we know because data iris contains three species but we took that species information out and that estimation was based exclusively on the numerical data which contained it in four first variables now we go with some other libraries we will need the library E1071 because I will use support vector machines today and we will need library Shupunov okay so now we go with some modification of initial data so of what I will do I will modify data in such a way that instead of species variable, we'll have what key means think is a species. So let us do it. First of all, iris2 is a new name for iris data. Secondly, we will replace the actual species component with what key means estimated out of this data but we should run key means first so let us do it iris a key for example key means i remind you that key means is a uh, method which is in core r you don't need to install and run any package for it so we'll use the same iris without species variable data and for centers, we'll use what actually key picks find key method found. So for centers, we use CC MQ3M result. And to make results more stable, I prefer to specify number of starting points as five. All right, so now we run it. And now we have a cluster component of that iris a key cluster 
which is a long variable, but I will run the head of it. Just a few first items. So it contains just numbers of classes. Of course, KeyMeans doesn't know anything about species name. So now time came to go with Iris2 data. So for Iris2 data, Iris2 species, we will replace that variable, which now has names of species, with our Iris A key cluster. Key cluster. And I want to make it factor exactly like the, our previous species variable was. So it will be factor of a Iris dot a key cluster. Okay. And now we need a structure to be run to see what's going on with our Iris 2 data set. So now, as you see, instead of species names, we have just numbers. These numbers, again, originated from key means. And key means use estimation of numbers originated from find key. I hope it's still discernible. Now we go to the sampling part. And this is a bit tricky because first time in our lessons I will use slightly different sampling mechanism. So far we sampled each fifth row and it was enough. Unfortunately, now we don't actually know how these numbers are distributed. In original Iris data, species were just first were Cetosa, then Versicolor, then Virginica. But now this 1, 2, 3 might be in any position. So if we take each fifth row, that might be prevalence of 1s or 2s or 3s, which we don't want. We want sampling to be even. So how to make it? For that reason, Packard Shiponov contains the special function, class sample. So let me run it. Sum will be our new object. We'll use a class sample and we will use iris2 species for that and we'll make like proportion of 10 percent of data proportion 0 0.1 so for our sum variable we'll sample 10 percent of data evenly so this is a stratified sample so 10 percent of each species will be sampled. C pieces again are artificial size species which came out of key means species one, species two, species three. We don't know their names. So what is sum? Let us check it. As you see, this is a logical very logical variable which contains truths or falses. And we now use it to produce our training and in the testing subsets. So iris2 train will be iris2, of course. And then for selection of rows, we use sum, S-A-M. Similar, we'll be making a testing data, but that case we'll use exclamation mark for negation. And of course, use a different name iris to test okay so uh, training and testing subsets are ready and data is new please remember it now we we'll work with svm actually it's easy enough we already did it before so iris to svm will be function svm so this these are support vector machines uh, very common species uh, X, uh, against all other variable to we'll call it formula interface and then we'll use for data iris 2.train excellent we did it so now we make a prediction so we make a data for the prediction iris 2 svm pred and then we use a common function predict to predict from our model model is 
in iris2.svm here. So iris2.svm and then we use a new data set which is iris2 test as usual we will remove the last variable. So now we predict species for the testing subset. So uh, what is our iris to svm pred? Let us look on it like to make sure that we're in the right track. Okay, it contains exactly what we wanted. So instead of species name, we have numbers, which is okay because we have this artificial species set from k-means. And now we came to the well AC test because now I use a function miss class to understand how our prediction work it against what? Not against species which found in the key means, but against our actual initial species, variable number five from Iris data, which contains names. So there's a color Cetose Virginica. Let us do it. Iris 2 SVM PRED and our variable to compare with will be iris data not the iris to iris because we need species names not numbers and we want variable number five but we must apply sampling part because iris to SVM PRED is shorter it's a part of testing subset so I apply the same sampling variable here with exclamation mark like we did when we make add a test one. So you see iris 2.test was iris 2 and then exclamation mark ASAM. So the same thing is here. Same thing. And now we also must specify option best which will search for the best misclassification table with the lowest misclassification rate because on the left side we have numerical species and on the right side we have named species this is not easy to find it's straightforwardly we should check all combination and find which is working the best so let us go with this wonderful I would say absolutely excellently wonderful. So it's not so good as it is when we use the real species names. But you see, this is species one to three, which were predicted out of numerical data without any knowledge about species. So this system which we employed today found species from numbers and then learn it on them, and then had error against real species, like 11%, so 89, 88, okay, 88% of data were predicted properly, rightly. So this is a very good result. That method, frequently called self-learning, but I would prefer the name automatic learning. So again, the whole idea of that learning system is that we don't know class labels. We learn it out of data, without any any suggestions, any hints, any education. And then, the next step, we'll use it for learning with any of existing machine learning methods, like with SVM. So, if you like, you can train yourself and use some other methods. For example, what will LDA or Random Forest do here? How well they will work? I suspect they will work quite well. So this is an automated learning, uh, machine learning workflow. Thank you very much.